Thanks for checking out the channel. I have another one for you today, which is a quick, easy install of Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager's vSphere Web Client plugin. I get this question quite often as it's not readily obvious how to install this plugin unless you're reading the Veeam Help Center, which I have linked below. Now, in Enterprise Manager, we'll go to Configuration. Then on the left, we'll go to vCenter Servers. And you can see here next to our vCenter Server, plugin status showing not installed. Now, if I select that server, I can click Check Version. And if this is the first time we're doing this, it will prompt for credentials. So go ahead and enter those here. As you get those credentials in, you'll see plugin status goes back to pending. And now it has confirmed that that plugin is not installed. So I can go over to this install button and start that install. And you'll see status is pending again. And now has gone to installed and shows us the plugin version and who installed it. So if we head back over to the vSphere client, we can see that the download of that plugin is completed, but deploying the plugin is still running. And checking our menu shows we do not have that plugin installed, so we will wait. And excellent, now it shows us plugin Veeam vSphere client plugin 10 has been successfully deployed. Refresh the browser to enable, so we'll do that. And now if we select our menu, we can see that Veeam backup and replication plugin at the bottom. And now you may get this session expired error or this similar failed to connect to enterprise manager error. See knowledge base 1849 for more info. So you can do that or we'll head over to settings here, confirm our IP or host name and the port we're connected to. And then we'll go down to password based authentication. Check that, enter in your credentials. We'll click on the save and then test button we'll see that username and password are valid and heading back to our summary, we should now get a connection and there we go. We've got yellow and green statuses on the right, as well as our Veeam backup infrastructure on the left. With that, we've got the Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager vSphere Web Client plugin installed. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Noable Walker.